concept I've been playing with is very interesting when it comes to the world of public speaking. Because I know that you are going to give a speech. I, I just know it. I feel it in my bones. But the case is that there's so many things that speakers don't do when they get to the venue. When you got to give that speech. There's things they don't do. And I've been trying so many things. I've done this. I've done that. There's so many things that I'm always trying so that I can tell you what you have to do that's going to increase either your speech, your likability rate, and so many other factors when it comes to public speaking. It's like a, I can speak 37 hours, one video, only on the topic of public speaking, which is this, because I know you're not doing this. When you get to the venue, right, it's crucial that when you're there, try to speak to your audience, no matter how big or how small they are, try to speak to them. Befriend them. Let me tell you why. You might think, okay, I've heard this before, but it's the why that's very interesting that I've been playing around with and thinking about the concept. It's because when you're befriending the audience, right, if it's 10 people, 50 people, 1,000 people, go up to a couple people and just start speaking to them. Say, hey, listen, I'm going to be giving a speech about global warming or pollution or how to sell more products in 2020, right? Is there a particular point that you want to hear or do you have a certain question that you want me to answer on stage? Is there something that you're looking for? Now, right there, the, 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 the framework is beautiful because it's not about you anymore. The speech, your presentation, it's not about you. You're not trying to be conceited. You're, you're not trying to show off. It's about the message to the consumer, the message to the audience. Now, when they see this, they're like, wow, he's really humble or he wants to know my opinion. They'll give you, they'll give you their two cents. Now, you can do a couple things now. You can either take their two cents, their questions, or their thoughts, and... When you're on that stage, giving the speech, you can talk about it. You can say, listen, I was talking to people here in the audience, and you can show the area they're in. They'll feel special. You make them feel good. Everyone else is like, wow, he really must mingle with the audience. I want to meet him. You might think this is so far-fetched, but it's so not. It's really not far-fetched. It really does work. And then you can talk about the thought they mentioned. Or you can have it in your mind and not say anything at all. Or you can even say, listen, I've been doing some research Someone mentioned this, I don't really know the answer, but I'm definitely gonna do some more research about it and I'll get back to you guys on this. I'll give you a report, an article, whatever the case is. Any of these options are great. Why? Because your speech is not about you. Who cares? There's a thousand speakers out there. What matters is what you're saying and how you're saying it. And you're befriending the audience. Another thing that you can do that I think is super underrated, meet the other speakers. If there's gonna be speakers before you or even after you, Meet them. See who they are, their personality, the topics, the titles of their speeches. And if you can find a reference or a, um, a common point, a common place of their speech that you can connect to yours, do it. And mention it and say, you know, the last speaker said this statistic about global warming or about pollution or about Donald Trump, whatever the case is. And I totally agree or disagree with it. Well, actually, you can go either route, but in my case, I would definitely say to agree with it. It's better always to have more similarities than differences, right? So you say how, how you agree with them. It can even be the smallest point, but mention their name. Mention their speech. Do it. Because now this person's like, wow, he really paid attention to what I had to say. I like this guy. I want to work with him. Let me help him. The more people you can get to help you, either the audience, the other speakers, the person who put you on that stage, whoever that, that person is, and you know who I'm talking about, they can help you or they can be more lenient with you if you mess up whatever the case is. Again, all you're doing, you're getting emotional with the person. You're getting invested in their message, in their persona. The person in front of you, or even someone who's going after you, say, listen, the next speaker is gonna talk about this, X, Y, and Z. He's a phenomenal, great person. I'm not saying you have to introduce them, but give a little compliment. Make them, make that re reference point. Talk about their speech, mention at least the title, and now you have winning Friends, you have people that are on your side, the audience and the people behind stage. I'm telling you guys, I've been playing with this concept. It works every time I've gone to do my workshops at high schools, at colleges, small businesses, in front of entrepreneurs, right? I love doing this. As a matter of fact, something that I, I've been doing a lot lately is when I have to do a workshop or a seminar, what I'll do is that I'll only talk for 10, 15 minutes and then the rest is q and A. I'll do a q and A. I know that you probably can't do a and a If you can, great. But I do the Q&A because now I can gauge what everyone wants in the audience, what they really want to hear, what they need to learn. I'm just a tool. That's all I am. I am the tool. I am the wagon. So then 
the person who put me on stage is pushing me towards the audience symbolically. And my message that I'm bringing, I'm bringing it with the wagon and I'm distributing it to everyone else. And now everyone else can take it or not take it depending on that. So I just wanted to tell you this, guys. I think it's amazing. Try it out. Let me know how it works. Please comment, like, and subscribe. That's all I really want. I don't want your money. Not at all. I just want you guys to like something, like my videos, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Guys, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. And of course, until next time.